Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. It's a reaction video. Who made it to the top? <laughs> of course, we are back. We are here. Like we never left. Lazy people everywhere. Quick reminder, if you love me, I love you back. I love you with the I love you back to back. Mm -mm. Backpackers everywhere. Lazy people everywhere. Where's my backpacker? Well, like, we made it to Jamaica. Hey, Silicon Valley of Africa is another leg. Nkenge Wood, aka Iyabohanze, we died there. Chef Matiko is on this table, guys. <laughs> guys, I don't want to say too much. You see, people are joining reaction and they don't want to accept it. They first of all bow the mouth to the reactors, call us names. Chef Matiko started by saying that we are liars. Mm? The other time he said that he's not bothered about reaction because he's bigger than us. Chef Matiku, be on your lane. Let's be on our lane. If you want to be a reactor, which I think he's already a reactor, like his, his audience, some of them are threatening him that they're going to unsubscribe. Some said, if you want to do reaction, come out and do reaction. You are not even in the Yabahanze. What is going on? He must not be in the Yabahanze. Meanwhile, he's from the Yabahanze. Why not? He can actually do whatever that pleases him but don't come and bad mouth us don't come and enter the industry you know with left hand because it's not gonna be okay sometimes i feel like what he says he's like upright he calls the spade the spade but at the same time he's arrogant as at the same time i don't understand chef Matico. anyway we got his onions here can we bring other backpackers have you grabbed something grab whatever that is grabbable me i got my borrow of water here Grab yours, sharp, 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 sharp. We have the king, the roro, roro. Priya Shama is Marwa's ex-girlfriend. I'm not gonna call her Marwa's ex-girlfriend, but Marwa wanna be. Marwa wanna be her boyfriend, but Priya didn't feel anything. You understand what I mean? Richard, the world traveler is on this table. Guys, hey, you see this blue jacket? This, if I was Baba Marwa, I would throw this blue jacket away. Marwa stole this blue jacket from Richard the World's Traveler since 2001, November, during the COVID time. Marwa was in Yankee. And Marwa wanted this jacket. Tried to buy it. They were looking, looking, looking. They didn't find it. Marwa took this jacket. 2023, Richard did a short video asking a question. Where is my jacket? 2023. Guys, be taking note of this thing because I'm going to show you. We are too big here to be lying. You understand? We've got no time for lies here. If we don't have our proofs, we will not talk about it. Or we will talk about it and say allegedly. Or we will say that we are overthinking. We might say that we are assuming we are overthinking. But this one, we got the clip. So I know what I'm saying. Richard never gifted Baba Marwa this blue jacket. 2022 October, Marwa was in India with Priyashama. Marwa made Priyashama to wear the same jacket. 2024 March, you're gonna let your girlfriend wear the same jacket, stolen jacket. And you are rubbing these things on our faces here. You think we're not gonna take note? You think we're not gonna go back and be like, wait a minute, wait a minute, what's going on here? Richard was looking for this jacket because Baba Marwa, he saw that Baba Marwa, did the wrong thing, but didn't know how to reprimand. You know, Igbo people, they like to pamper too much. You know, <laughs> if you are working for an Igbo man, you won't even know that you are getting fired. You won't even know that you are about to lose your bread and butter. This Igbo man will use English and scatter your head. You won't even know you are getting fired <laughs> until you receive white envelope and you'll be like, wait, 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 wait. But he was smiling. But he was okay with me. But he had coffee with me. Oh, but he gave me this. No, it's not like that. Mm? It's work and pay. It work, way business is business. Eh? Pleasure is pleasure. Richard never gifted Marwa this jacket. You know how you would want something from someone and you'll be like, Kukuma, I love this hair. Where can I get this? I'll be like, oh, someone made it for me in Nigeria. Well, let me go and look for this lady. I'm looking, I'm looking. I can't find her contact anymore. I'm, I'll be like, oh, I didn't find her. But anyway, whenever I get to Nigeria, I'll try to see if somebody can actually make this. It's not a problem. Or go check this place, check this place. You might find one or something that looks like this. 
the next thing I'm looking for my wig. The next thing you are claiming that I gave it to you as a birthday present. This is what actually happened between Mr. Kenge and Richard. Richard never gifted him this jacket. That's why Richard, that's why Richard did a short video asking, who has seen my blue jacket? Who has seen my jacket? And people started leaving comments and he never ever corrected anybody. People started pointing at Marwa. Your jacket is in Yabuhanze. Your jacket is with Baba Marwa. And mind you guys, Baba Marwa gave this jacket and this shoe, the shoe that he claimed that has been to so many countries, <laughs> the, the shoe that has traveled more than you and I, <laughs> or most of you and I, because some of you guys actually have traveled more than Baba Marwa, but you are not coming here to make noise. Empty vessel makes the loudest noise, they say. Mm? You see people bragging, hey, you don't know who I am. At the end of the day, they are not. Tell me what is in this blue jacket. Okay, let me say it's a nice one. It's a good quality. But Marwa, you work so hard here. That jacket, you can buy it 10 times. Even for your girl. Tell me why this guy would rubbish, rubbish himself. You know, bring his image to nothing like this. He took this jacket. Richard was dropping him off to the airport. When they got to the airport, he brought his bag out of the boat and told Richard to hold his camera. He opened his zip, trying to push his GoPro camera thing, you know, the casing of GoPro camera inside his backpack. And Richard gave him that look. Richard turned to Marwa's camera like, for real, you took my jacket. The next thing, in order to close the chapter, Marwa claimed that Richard gifted him that jacket. If Richard gifted you that jacket, Baba Marwa, why did he put up a short video asking for his jacket? Has anybody seen his jacket? Yani, if you have gifted someone a gift, you shouldn't come back and be looking for it because you know you have given it out. You can only admire and be like, oh, I, sh I wish I... Sh Oh, I wish I didn't give out this jacket. This jacket is actually very beautiful. Why? What is that? What a meaning? <laughs> what a meaning? Why did I even give this to this guy? This guy doesn't deserve it. Or why is he even using it like this? I've seen comments like that where Richard was also saying the same thing that he didn't give this jacket to Baba Marwa, as Marwa claimed. I think he's feeling somehow to embarrass Marwa. That's why he put it out there like a short video. If you can put one or two together, do that. But if you cannot, leave it. If you're going to come here and argue with me, oh, go, go, mama, you're just jealous. Why are you going back to what happened during COVID time, 2021? Hmm. Richard's facial expression says a lot that Baba Marwa, <laughs> like you can see that, you know how you would drop somebody who is so troublesome, somebody who invaded, invaded so much in your space. And Marwa did it purposely so that Richard will see that he took that jacket. That's why he opened that, that zip. That's why he's opened his luggage in front of Richard. He purposely told Richard, hold this camera for me. And then to get his attention, to make sure that Richard saw that jacket inside his bag before he left. And he left. And he started using this jacket. Using this jacket nonstop from 2021, Marwa refused to let go of this jacket. 2023 in Yankee, reactors were like, when do you get to watch this? When do you get to watch this? Every day you are wearing this. Every day you drop video wearing the same jacket. So when do you get to wash it? We started asking this question. And he came and he was like, oh, they are even questioning that I'm a short guy. They are questioning so many things about me. I actually, he was telling Mr. Mitua, I actually have another jacket which costs 700 US. I'm not lying. This jacket is so expensive. It costs 700 USD. I'm not lying. Guess what? It was another guy that gifted. He mentioned the name of the guy that actually bought that jacket for him. He wants to give it out as auction. He wants to give it out. No, he did not. Rather, he kept it in a hands and waiting for this gullible girl from Argentina to come. This girl has disgraced herself. Wearing something that another girl has worn. When Priya Shama wore that jacket in India, she was actually smelling the jacket. She was actually like this. Guys, I'm going to show you. She was actually smelling the jacket, meaning that the jacket was dirty. 
Mara stole this jacket 2021 from Richard. Sarah wearing it 2022. Priyashama wore it. 2023, Mara wore it until Reactor started complaining. Then he dropped it. 2024, you gave it to this woman that you care so much. Oh, I want her to sit in front. Uh, I want her to experience everything. Mm. On the expense of another guy, he was even laughing at Jamaica uncle, making jest of Jamaica uncle that he's going to sell his restaurant, come down to your house and build the road for them. Guys, guys, this guy is shameless. This guy, this is no longer stinginess. This is a disease. You can't even spoil yourself. How much? Is, I want to know. What brand is that jacket and how much? Guys, you guys should let me know in the comment section. I really want to know how much is this jacket that will make Baba Marwa to stoop so low like this, to steal someone's jacket without knowing. And ever since this thing happened, ever since we spotted Baba Marwa and Richard, we've not seen him posting, we've not seen him. Could it be because of this? Because something like this can actually put someone off. Something like this could actually make someone to sleep. Probably this is like his thing. This is his passion to travel around, sh showcase the world, you know, do his own thing, make friends, chill with friends. But bringing someone very close to you and all the person cares is about grabbing this from you, grabbing the accommodation you provided. He became his Uber driver, took him to so many places. And while you are taking him around, he's busy with his GoPro camera, recording and pushing, pushing and collecting, collecting and becoming selfish, collecting and letting you know that, no, this is Yankee. Things are very, very expensive. I'm not going to spend even one cent here because if I take it to Africa, I need to finish my house. Guys, when I start enjoying, when I finish this villa, up till now, he's still waiting. I thought Erondante bought solar for Baba Marawa. Now he's looking for solar. What is going on? Activation of donation. He's even becoming a vector to that, treating his bed that got fractured. Guys, content creation is not our mate. Recycle, recycle, the same thing, the same thing. You're going to let this girl wear this jacket to make us talk or what? I don't understand. You guys should look for Richard. If you know him one on one, go check him and see if everything is okay. We don't know. We don't know whether even other things were missing, like Yanni, money and other stuff. I'm just saying, I thought I have seen it all. Let's first look at Richard in 2023 looking for his jacket. Has anyone seen my jacket? And so many people commented and said, yes, your jacket is with Baba Marawa, meaning that he is looking for his jacket. If Richard gifted Baba Marawa this jacket as a gift, as a birthday gift, because the story behind it that I heard was that Baba Marawa actually wanted to, this could be a made-up story as well, that Baba Mara actually wanted to buy that jacket, but couldn't find the jacket, the exact jacket, and same color, something like that. While he was in Yankee last year, because he wore this jacket so much, another guy, a sister to Mituwa's wife, a, I think a sister or a brother, a sister, sister-in-law or sister to Mituwa's wife, gifted Baba Marawa, same brand, but not the same color. That one is navy blue color. Let's see Marawa and Priyashama in 2023 while they were in India. I've been blocking this train, Sri Lankan train. It's misty outside. I love the weather because it's just like something else. We've been riding this train and it's like six hours to go. Priya, baby girl, what are you feeling? I'm tired. Tired? But at least you got the shot, right? Tell people to follow you on Instagram to see what you've been struggling. Don't worry about the camera. Don't worry about the camera. I told you, you are with this guy, right? You can tell that this dude forced himself 
to be with this girl. This dude tried everything, convinced this girl, did everything, always on a live stream, always calling her without unannounced on camera in front of all of us. Yani, we are coming to that because there's something again that they did. Did has joined Dream Team. Hey, finally, D is officially doing charity. I don't have any problem. It's a good one. Like I suggested to them last time, you don't go put camera on people without at least providing food for them. Yes, you are asking people to help, but before you ask people, do at least lead by example, right? Do the little you can do. Let people see how far you have gone, and then they can help. D has finally joined the dream team, but I have a problem. You guys should leave me alone. I don't want I don't want <laughs> I'm not going to come here and be pretending. I have to say, the good, the bad, and the ugly is a good thing to help. At least do something in your community. If you must do something, go the best way. Okay? You must do something, do it the right way. Whatever that is worth doing is worth. What doing well? Mm-hmm. Priya Sharma told Baba Marawa, I'm tired. You can never tell a dude that you want, that you are tired. Yani, if you are in a nice company, let's say that they are just travel buddy, like Priya Sharma kept their relationship as travel buddy. Not even because of her culture, because where she comes from, I think she's from Mumbai. She's not from Kerala. The Kerala part, okay, the people from Kerala part, they tend to marry each other. Yani, don't get me wrong. It doesn't mean if you are from Kerala and you're in Yankee or you're in Canada, you're somewhere in the Western world, you cannot marry a foreigner. Because that one already, what I mean is the original people like Yani, the locals in India, they tend to marry each other more. Even they are not even mixing with other tribes. Think of marrying from other countries, you know. Priya is from that part of India where I would consider that their culture is a little bit open. Even their dressing and everything you can tell. They are a little bit open. So I won't even say that it's because of this arranged thing. You have to get your partner through arrangement. Family will search, search for a guy. Family of the girl will search for a guy. Search, look at the education background, look at family background, look at so many stuff, and then decide who their daughter will marry. The family basically choose your husband for you. I'm not saying because of that. It happens a lot in India. I'm just saying that if really, really Priyashama is in love with Baba Marwa, she can push through and marry Marwa based on where she comes from. Now, don't get me wrong. The majority of the people will go for this arranged marriage. But again, it depends on the tribe, where you come from. Some are really, really strict, like the Kerala's. They are very strict with this. They are very particular marrying each other, going through the process, through the procedure of family of the girl, looking, looking, searching, searching, searching. Actually, the girl marries the guy, pays the bride price. Not really paying the bride price, but giving in some items like gold to the guy's family. Now, according to my colleagues, some families, well-to-do families will be like, I don't want no girl to give anything to me. We just want to marry her. And so long as our son is okay with her, we don't need anything from her. Because the girl, as soon as you leave school, from 22, they marry early as well. From 22, they start working and saving money for their marriage. Like, you're yani preparing for marriage, saving a lot of money to buy gold that they will give to the husband's family. It's a whole lot. But in this case, Priya Shama never felt anything for Baba Marwa. I remember reacting and I was like, Mama, you cannot choose a guy that you want to use his fame, but you don't want him. Nah, he's a package. You can't do this to our brother. I remember reacting that way. <laughs> Marwa people will not see that one. They only see when we we'll go negative. You know, Priyashama kept Marwa just as a friend, a travel buddy, YouTube thing, a guy that you can just help you know, move around and get everything you want. Even her own people started complaining that, no, we need no Marwa. Our sister can do it on her own. She's beautiful. She's intelligent. She's smart. She can make it on YouTube. In fact, 
Indian community can give her all the support that she wants. She doesn't even need Marawa's views and Marawa's supporters, Marawa's fame, blah, 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 blah. That was it. This girl didn't want Marwa, but Marwa pushed and pushed and pushed and pushed. And that's why Marwa is frustrated. That's why Marwa is with Roro Roro now. Because Marwa actually, Baba Marwa actually wants to make Roro Roro to be jealous of this girl. This is another reason why Baba Marwa gave this jacket to Roro Roro. To rubbish Priyashama. To make Priyashama feel bad that, okay, this jacket that you wore two years ago, another girl in my life is wearing it. But little did he know that he actually disgraced himself. He's a turn off. He's so cheap. He's, they are, he's disgusting, guys. He's disgusting for a caliber of guy like Baba Marawa. This guy makes money. This guy makes money. Why can't he enjoy his money at least? God forbid bad thing. If anything happens to you, all these things will be nothing. Vanity upon vanity. You won't even remember any. Look at how he's torturing this girl. Four months, you didn't take her to Masamara. Another guy, you were waiting for another guy to sponsor the trip. That's why if you look at this girl, this girl now is giving it to Baba Marwa. On camera, there's another clip, the latest video. She was like, you are too negative. You have so much belief that it's affecting your freedom. Oh, you're going to complain about calling out the numbers of your little pets. You believe if you call out their numbers, they will start dying. But Mara was telling Roro that according to the culture, you are not supposed to call, count them one, two, three. We have something like that. If somebody asks you, how many children do you have? You're not supposed to say, oh, I have four children. No, I have five children in my culture. Or if somebody asks you, are you pregnant? Maybe you are still in your first trimester, first three months, and you're not sure. You know, first three months is so delicate. Women will likely have miscarriage. Anything can happen. Bad eyes will believe so much in that. Me, personally, I don't. I don't believe in that. If a woman is bound to have miscarriage, of course, it depends again on the factor. There will always be something that led to that. That's my belief. Physiological factor, hormonal issues, accident, trauma can result to miscarriage, okay? Stress and all that stuff. No, in my culture, okay, if somebody asks you, maybe you are two months pregnant, that period, nobody really knows that you're pregnant. And someone's asking, are you pregnant? You'll be like, no. You are actually saying that because you believe that once you let people know, it will affect the pregnancy. You let people see that you're pregnant. And even when people can see, like, there's a baby bomb and everything, people still hide it. Some people even put some crucifix. For us Catholics, they put something on their belly button, put something, and always, like, they are protecting, wear certain clothes, do certain rituals to protect evil eyes from the baby, stuff like that. So nobody will really come out to tell you, oh, I'm three months pregnant. Oh, I'm four months pregnant. Oh, I have five children. Well, they believe that once you start counting your children, something might happen to them. Or people might start getting jealous. Oh, you have seven children for real? Stuff like that. They let you see, but they don't talk about it. Marwa was telling Roro Roro the same thing, that you don't count the beds, like one, two, three, four, five, six. You go... She started yelling at him. Baba Marwa had to switch to another topic very fast. She started yelling. Oh, you're always negative. This thing is tying you down. You are always, you always have something. Oh, we do it. This is, what do you think? In your culture, you have something as well that you believe in. And it will be very hard for you to let go. Yeah. Oh, I was forgetting my mask. Hold this for me.
my new gadget. Richard, man. Yeah, see you. God bless you, man. Okay. I, see, I see you again, bro. Yeah, yeah man. You're going to have fun, I know. It. Hey, please subscribe to Richard's YouTube channel. He has been a great guy. Hey, I hope you watch my adventures, man. If I, if I find a wife out there, I'll send her to tell you. Me, tell me. Since 2021, he has been looking for a wife. 2021, 22, 23 years down the line, he's still like this. Huh? <laughs> still not sure. Oh, I think we're going to get married around October, November, maximum November. Da, 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 da. He's still not sure. He's still looking. Hmm? He has found a wife, but he can't even spoil this woman. He can't even make this woman look good. You must wait for people to send secondhand clothes from abroad and your lady will be grabbing. Hey! What a shame. The worst part of it is this Roro came for fame and now she's getting it firsthand after she rubbished herself by saying that she hates black people. Look at her. Look at how she's so miserable. Channel is demonetized. And guys, it's not a joke. Once your channel is demonetized, it's 90 freaking days. Maybe in her own situation, it might be different because it has to do with her pain, if she's saying the truth. This is if she's saying the truth. She might get it before 90 days. But if she's lying, forget about it. <laughs> she has to wait for 90 days. Let's see Roro Roro wearing the same jacket. I'm still going to put it here so that you guys can see. I will try to fix it and join it to my thumbnail. I wish I would get a clear picture to use it as thumbnail as well. What a shame. Eh? How can this guy be this cheap? Eh? How? What is in this jacket? What? If I was Baba Marwa, actually, if I must give out this jacket, I will not give it to someone who is close to me that will still appear on camera. You understand what I mean? If you don't want to buy anything for this girl, we know already that you are stingy. You're always waiting for people to feel sorry. Now he's activating for donation to buy solar. Look at this other guy, Burundi traveler, all the way from Burundi. He has already fixed his solar. We saw Nasto also trying to buy solar. Baba Marwa, no, he must make the announcement. And Mr. Erondante gave him money. Actually, people reminded him. I'll put the comment here. Someone asked him, what about the money Erondante gave you towards you getting a solar? What happened? I think this could be the cheapest way. <laughs> to go to Masai Mara. Let me pause, guys. I fixed my driver here. Hey. Uh, uh, let's speak. Guys, Rocio. I want you to sit in front, ma'am. Kindly. You are good here? Okay. Ah, yeah. Somebody sits in front. <laughs> Guys, have you seen that there's no footage at all where Mara was handing in money? This trip was sponsored by Uncle Jamaica. Jamaica Uncle. We know that one. We didn't see anywhere where Mara was paying. You know, the guy, the tour guard, the, for the transport, for the, the whole stuff, for the food and everything. At the same time, he did not, you know, appreciate Jamaica uncle. If you are recording everything, we expected you to say thank you, to appreciate him for making this possible. Because I'm very, very sure that he spent a lot. For foreigners to go to safari, it cost more than the locals and, of course, the East Africans. Guys, can we move to Jamaica? D has finally joined the dream team, okay? Charity team of Kino. Of course, Kino has been doing this before Christmas list introduced D to Kino. And they started doing stuff. But D was not doing too much with Kino when it comes to charity. Now, finally, baby girl was out there handing in soup, you know, giving, serving people, basically. And this is what I remember reacting and I said, this is the best way to go. I mean, you go around to get help for people by asking your audience to help. You, yourself, what are you doing? At least we all know that you make money from these videos. What are you doing? Yani, from your own side, what do you offer? Nothing, right? Anyway, the good thing now is they managed to cook soup, something. 
They didn't just go with their camera and asking people, oh, we're going to come back to help. From the feedback I got, okay, when I reacted first, actually they said that he helps. He has helped a lot, the community, to, you know, assist them with their needs. So I'm not looking down on him, but there's something that they did here that I didn't like. They saw this guy, while she was handing in the soup to this guy, while she was giving this guy the soup, she started interrogating him and asking him, what happened to your fingers? D, you don't do this in front of camera because you know quite well that you guys were recording. So you're not going to say that you are not aware of what is going on. <laughs> guys, you know is a very bad child. I'm telling you, the way this guy can insult, they did Q&A. Q&A means question and answer. People will ask you questions. Now everybody's saying, oh, you guys look good together. It will be nice. D, you can tell from this side, we all expected that already, that D can't wait. D can't wait for Kino to come out and be like, you know what? This is my woman. You know what? You know what? You know what? D, D was like, yeah, 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 yeah. You are all invited when you have Lamborghini. <laughs> and Kino was like, oh, they always ask about this. Oh, it's too soon for you guys to ask. Why is he getting irritated? Why was he irritated? If he was not ready for QA, then why join him D? He could have allowed your woman to do her own thing like she normally do. Why complaining that people want to know? People are nosy. People, of course, you are a public person. What do you expect? There's nothing like minding. D again was passing aggression towards the reactors. Oh, people must mind their business. The best way is to mind your business eat your food and mind your business. You, you are not minding your business. If you're minding your business, you will not be throwing things here on our space. This is a public space. You want to mind your business, you go private. Stop uploading. Live your private life. Nobody will bother you. Nobody will even have anything to talk about you. These guys are not practical at all. So, D, don't ask someone. This is humiliation. You don't know the story behind someone who is amputated, someone who has lost part of his body. You're going to throw it like this because you have this bowl of soup and you expect that person to start blabbing and blabbing in front of the camera. The best way is to ask this person off camera, would you mind sharing your story? What happened to your fingers? I'm going to record. I'm going to share. You do need to let the person know what you are about to do. Shona made it to Jamaica. Hey, all emotional, emotional. First class is not our mate. Come and see drama doll. Hey, hey. She made sure that she recorded everything. D will not like this one, guys. Shona's one is loud. Shona found herself a Muzungu guy that is interested. You understand? Hey, mind you, <laughs> I told you guys that it's going to be difficult if you are a married person, whether you are a guy or a lady, it's to be very difficult. Just look at uh, Mrs. Maya. There's another video coming up, of course, not today. On our next one, we'll be looking at Mrs. Maya and what is going on. Of course, a lot is going on between Mrs. Maya and Checking Effect. What I'm saying here is, if you are a guy and you are a lady, you're married, and you are a public figure, you are a social media person, it will be very, very hard not to talk to opposite sex. <laughs> hey, Shona was busy with this Muzungu guy. Come and see. You can tell that Shona liked what she saw. Our Madame D didn't get this kind of chance. You think D wouldn't have loved to? Hey, come and see her thumbnail. If this was D, this Muzungu, if D was Shona that met this Muzungu guy, okay, on a plane, there's no way she would not use him as her thumbnail. Her thumbnail would be on fire, like he had a fire. Shona was, you know, having this conversation, enjoying, oh, this is not a show of definitely, definitely she is on her way to Jamaica if she's not in Jamaica already, of course, to meet her baby girl. Mm -hmm. She was emotional as well, leaving her son behind with her sister, but it is what it is. Yeah? The struggle is real. The hustle is real. You got to do what you got to do to put food on the table. We are happy for baby girl because it seems like D is, you know, ushering her in to start traveling and doing her own stuff. Hey, madam, travel, but don't leave our brother behind. Shona is married to a Nigerian. That's why I'm saying that. Hey, if you are a jealous type, eh? your wife 
cannot or your husband cannot succeed on social media. Again, Madam D was saying that that oh I've learned this. I can't make that mistake anymore. Anybody that I will settle down with must be a social media person. This person must be someone who is used to this fame. This person must be someone who is used to this exposure, this life. Eh? I cannot bring someone who will come and disgrace me and be all dramatic and want to do this. And after using me, the person is out of the door. <laughs> now we can see that Madam D is going for Kino because Kino got all this quality. Kino is a social media person. Kino loves to travel. Kino is used to this life, this exposure. So it will not be a problem. If you are a jealous man, you see your wife flying a business class and there's a Muzungu guy smiley and everything and everything with your woman. You ask yourself, okay, this is the one that they are showing us on camera. Off camera, what happened? Was there any exchange of things? <laughs> exchange of numbers and everything. Madam D would have wished to be Shona. You understand what I mean? Uh, being our drama, drama, drama. She would have loved it and be like, oh, meeting a billionaire, flying business class and meeting this billionaire. She would have made, you know, stories out of this. But Shona was laid back, you know, enjoying her meal, stretching, made, making sure she flew Qatar Airways, one of the best airlines. Guys, I'm not going to joke. Qatar Airways. I love them. I, lo I love I love African Airlines, Ethiopian Airlines, but I must say the truth here. Qatar Airways, they are trying. Mm, they are doing so well. So what I'm saying is, if this was D, hey, the whole internet was scatter. She would drop it on our faces that she met this Mzungu rich guy eh, that wanted her immediately, you know, that wanted to propose to her, that was all over her on the plane, asking her for her number, asking her to come with him to his hotel. You know, the drama would have been too much. But Shona, of course, being a married person, hmm, at least she tried. She respected herself. She kept on stretching her legs on the plane. Oh, this is my little corner. This is my bed. Oh, I'm not doing this to show off, just to encourage and inspire someone out there to work hard. Hey, flying business class doesn't mean that you are working hard. It's not only for hard workers. Someone can actually have the money to fly business class and will decide not to. We'll see it as a waste of money. You understand what I mean? It's a matter of choice. But I got her, I got her, I got no problem. We're going to look at D and then watch Shona's clip before we call it a day. Let's watch D doing this charity that I don't understand. Guys, if you must do stuff, do it the right way. I must say this. You're supposed to go in with a cooler, okay? While you are serving this soup to the people, let the person see how you dish it out. I'm just thinking, it's not nice you dished it out somewhere. And then just one bowl of soup, you are handing it in to this person. No, you come in with your trolley, you come in with your wheelbarrow or something and go around. People like to see what they are eating. Okay, it's coming from this big pot. Because before you know it, people, I'm just saying, people will start saying, oh, this is left over because they didn't see the pot where it's made. I'm not saying that they will be suspicious that the food it's not nice or something. No, people want to see that big bowl or big pot of food where you are dishing it out from, something like that. And it looks better like that, but at least they tried. Let's watch them. You guys should leave me alone. I like to say it the way it is. If it falls on the good side, we'll talk about it. If it falls on the bad side, we'll talk about it. Well, let me say again that... This charity stuff that D decided to do now with Kino might actually affect her channel. She better watch it. That is it. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Yeah, give him, give him one. Give him. Oh, okay. okay. What happened to your finger? Work? Some banana jelly? Wow. Wow. Yeah. You have jelly? Yeah. Inside jelly, Nadi? Mm -hmm. Oh. So he cut himself because of jelly? No, so no. Here's one. spoon. Why? Why, my wife? Coconut water, my friend. Where you two, bear you two. They need to know gravy. <laughs> one to my brother, I'm in a cell phone, I know. 
Yeah, yeah man, that is it, man. That should be the last time we cook um, chicken and rice and peas. So this time we give them something different, more good for the stomach, yeah, right? I will give thanks yeah, to me. Yes. Yeah, man, I will give thanks to man. Yes. Yeah. That is. Yeah, man. So we we'll give thanks to me. We thank you so much. So yeah, I'm here with the cups, the soup cups. So these are the big soup cups we have here. You know, provided today for us. So me. Thank you so much for providing for the elders and today. You know, so we might as well change it up. You know, might as well change it up today, 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 and do something different. So yes, so we here, we here, we here, we here. That's it. Yes. Oh, subscribe. Oh, so big up. Okay. Yeah, yeah. YouTube as well. Big up yourself, man. Just put it on fair. Oh. Come there, you're going to deliver. No. <laughs> going to an elder over here. This charity stuff that Dee has decided to do, it might either help her channel, because already people are asking what is she still doing in Jamaica. I mean, we know Kino as this charity guy who is always out there helping his community, people like him, the way he's doing his stuff. And now, D is joining him. It's no longer a news. Really, I mean, we've seen him and the way he's doing it. Why joining him? Is this one lack of content? Or is there something, you know how you will be waiting for something, but that thing is not forthcoming. And then you just, while you are waiting, you're just whiling away your time. There are so many fishes in the ocean, okay? If sugar daddy is not ready to, pop up that question. If Sugar Daddy is not ready to give in, eh? Mwaka, move. D lied again. D said that she has never been to any country twice. D has been to Philippines three times. D, stop it. Stop lying. Mm? Just say that you came back to Jamaica, not because you love the island. The island is beautiful. Don't get me wrong. You can visit. People do that. They go on a vacation in a particular country. The next vacation, they're going to the same place. They're going over, over. Be like, oh, I love this place. I can't get over this place. I love, I love, I love, I love, I love. I know. But in this case, D, you always go for where you are looking for your thing. Either you are looking for view, which we can tell that right now she's getting her views. It doesn't matter where she is. She's always getting her views. This time around, she's looking for something. She's looking for her thing. She wants to secure her ring. You saw her even wearing ring. Whether she was advertising for a brand, I don't know. And Kino used the earring of that brand. <laughs> these guys, these guys are up to something. D, going back to Jamaica to start doing charity is awkward to me. It's a good thing. Don't get me wrong. It's a good thing. Her man has been doing it. Her joining her man is awkward. It's as if she's losing hope. Like she feels she can't do anything anymore without Kino. I don't know why. Whether this guy is offline promising her stuff, we don't know. Like, some guys are like that, okay? On camera, they are cool. You know when they were having the Q&A with Kino and D, okay? You can tell from this side, I'm in, I'm ready for anything. Mm -hmm. Wedding, you know, coming out to announce that we are dating, wara, 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 wara. I'm ready for all that. On Kino's side, he is flat. He is down. He is upset. He's aggressive. He's throwing insults on this audience. What is this? Telling people to mind their business. Telling people that it's too soon for them to know what is going on between them. Why is your woman back too soon, back to your country? Not even up to one month she left. And now she's joining you to do charity. Yani, charity for real? Mm? You guys should leave me alone. Let's watch Shona enjoying her first class experience. I'm talking to my friend. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Do you want to say hi? So you're on live. Yeah. yeah. No, no. Do you want to say hi? Hello. Yeah. My first YouTube. <laughs> How does it feel to be on YouTube now? 
I feel like a superstar. <laughs> yes. <laughs> <laughs> you see, for example, I'll be like, okay, I don't, I don't know if I like it or not. So I'll show them on the camera, and then I'll show off or bragging, but rather to inspire all the little girls out there, all the boys and girls who have dreams to live a good life. Just keep on working hard and know that all the dreams are possible. <laughs> Everything is possible in life. So guys, I'm truly sleepy. I was offered a coffee, but I don't have to take coffee because it's, it's, it's gonna mess me up real, real bad. So see you guys in Qatar. I know I've said this so many times, but now for real. See you guys in Qatar in the next one. So for now, bye bye, Mama Africa. Where are we right now? I don't know if we are in Addis Ababa or we are past Addis Ababa. But the last time I checked, we were in Addis Ababa. Can you guys see my legs? They are all the way down. Can you guys see my legs? You see my feet are all the way there because I've stretched the bed. So the bed, I'm able to like sleep. I think I should actually just remove my, my, my shoes as well. Okay, I've just done that. I've removed my shoes so you guys can see my socks. Over there, let me show you. I'm gonna tell you how comfortable is this bed. Is it even comfortable? It is, it's quite comfortable. Baby girl seems to be very happy. Our madame, Shona seems to be very happy you know to start traveling and doing this stuff but i hope she will not rely so much on d go and ask african t when she first came for d in philippines d actually invited her over in philippines go and ask coco girl <laughs> d has this tendency of not keeping friends for long i'm just saying we wish them all the best Actually, we don't know whether she's traveling on her own to do her own thing somewhere or whether she's going to meet the, we will see, except if they're not ready to share it. But when they share it, we must grab it sharp, 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 sharp. All right, guys, if you watch till this moment, you know who you are, you're the best. Thank you all for coming in today to support Coco Mama like you always do. Thank you for your love, your support, your likes, this slide, super slap. Hey, I got fruits. Come and see slap here and there. You guys are too much. Without you guys, like seriously, how? How can we manage? How can we survive here with this heat, with this buzz boost on this channel? Hey, without you guys, without you guys support, there wouldn't be no Coco Mama here. Mm? I would have been gone, like Yanni. Finish, full stop. Mm. But because of you guys, as we're coming, we're going and coming like we never left. Thank you all for your amazing support to the channel. I appreciate you all from the bottom, bottomest of my heart. Don't forget to like this video. Shower this video with your likes. Drop it with a water for Coco Mama. Subscribe to the channel if you haven't. Bring someone to the table. Tell a friend to tell a friend about Coco Mama. I'll see you all in my another one. Peace out, peace out, peace out.